Okay guys, here is the new project. It's a pontoon boat trailer for my brother's father-in-law. As you can see, this junk is old and busted. <laughs> and uh, needs a lot of help. Uh, all these boards are rotten. All of the brackets, as you can see, are pretty rusted through. Um, I'm going to cut all of that off and replace it with some new fresh metal. I'm going to get some rust converter and rust convert this frame and get off all the loose rust. And uh, I'm going to get it looking good again. Um, get some new boards on here. Uh, we're going to add some <clears throat> new tail lights to the back of it. He was talking about cutting off the frame right here because he thought the trailer was too long but I measured it and it's actually the exact right length so we're going to leave that alone we're just going to get it looking good again and not rusty alright uh, I already got one side off those brackets and bolts were so rusty I just pulled it and just twisted off like they're done for um so what i'm going to do is grind uh, all of those brackets off and then we're going to put some new ones on it the vertical metal is still good i'm just going to clean it off with a wire brush the best that i can and then put some rust converter on it all right uh what i want to try to do is keep the same angle that's on there but i don't have an angle finder but what i can do is take a piece of cardboard and set up against it and trace the angle on there so that when I put the new piece on I can just hold my cardboard up there get the same angle then weld it on so I will hold it up there draw it out with a sharpie and then I'll have my angle So what I want to do is line up this edge of the cardboard that's straight and then trace that. There's my angle. Now what I can do is cut it out. And then use it for this side and then flip it around as like a mirror and use it on the other side and that'll give me the same angle on both sides um, and then I'll do the same all the way down and just use this template so every angle will be the same I wanted to get you in here a little bit closer see how this metal oh, let me see if it'll focus it is still good like it's still thick but this one is just rusting to pieces. Because whoever built this used the thicker metal here. This is thinner. So this is a quarter of an inch. This is only eighth inch. So I'm going to put quarter of an inch up here. And uh, it'll be uh, stronger and uh, not rusty. <laughs> Okay, there's one side done. See how rusty they are? Like, one of them was so rusty, it was just gone. Like, there was nothing left. And then here's what we're left with. All of the uprights, all the way down. And those are still good. Some of them have a, some pitting, but I'm gonna fill a little bit of it in with some weld, and it, it'll be strong enough. Okay, this side's a little stronger. Um, I'm gonna try to get some of these bolts out. Uh, some of them are turning, so I put some uh, WD on there to let them soak and penetrate a little bit. I'll try to take some of them out. If I can't, I'll just cut them off, but it's more difficult to cut them off underneath something than it is from above like I did over there. 
So I'll just have to do what I ha have to do to get them off. Here's a little tip for when you're using a grinder, especially for using a cutoff wheel. Um, you always want the sparks to shoot under and towards you, which I know seems counterproductive. You don't want to get sparks all over you, but it's for uh, safety um, because sometimes grinders will catch and they'll jump. And if you have it, if you have the sparks shooting away from you and the grinder catches, it's going to jump towards you and cut you. Um, but if you have it turned the other way and the sparks are flying towards you, whenever it jumps, it'll jump away from you so you won't cut yourself. That's just a little grinder tip. You're welcome. All right. I got both sides done. And I took off these little... There were two little things in the middle that were connected with... Uh, um, what are they called like horseshoe bolts so i just cut those off because everything on here is so rusty like i got two bolts out then i had to cut the rest of them off it was too rusty to try and take them off so i just cut them off through over there oh u-bolts that's what they're called u-bolts okay now there's just going to be a lot of cleaning i'm going to take a wire brush on a grinder and I'm gonna brush this whole frame. And uh, that's gonna take a while. <laughs> but once I get finished brushing it, I got some rust converter. It's supposed to turn rust into carbon kind of a thing. And uh, then we can paint over that and uh, keep it from rusting in the future. All right. All right. So I put the wire brush on the grinder. And this is basically what you do. So you're just trying to get it down to the bare metal and get all the loose rust off and that rust converter stuff will get the deep rust and convert it into carbon. So we went from this loose paint and lots of flaky rust to this. All right, so I did the wire brush here. And I sprayed the rust converter on to see what it would look like as just like a little test area. And it looks really good. Did the back. I did underneath. I think it's going to turn out good. All right. Let's show this rust who's boss. Take that rust and one of these. hey -ah! I got a lot of the rust off and what you know what there is left like the on the can it talks about the it converts the deep rust into a paintable surface I think I heard somebody tell me once that it was carbon that it, it converts it to carbon 
but that's all that i have for this video um this is gonna have to be a a multi video uh project because um it's a lot of work <laughs> but uh thanks for watching um please like and share subscribe all that jazz and uh, i will see you next time when i'll be uh putting the rust converter on i was going to show that and um i'm gonna make the brackets for the top and i'll show that as well um but i'll see you next time all right bye